Hey everyone, this video is going to be an update video with the latest news in Vietnam. So what I'm going to be covering in this video is the latest to do with the current outbreak that's happening in Vietnam. Then I'm going to be talking about the current crackdown on visa renewals that's happening for foreigners here and how it's getting more difficult to renew visas. And then lastly, talk about some of the updates with regard to moving to Vietnam and the quarantine period increasing to 21 days and all the updates around that. So this new wave started about April 27th and so it's been going on a month now, nearly a month and there have been about 1,500 new cases in Vietnam. Now the total cases in Vietnam over the entire period of COVID has been 4,500. So with a population of 97 million people in Vietnam, Vietnam's been quite COVID free. But as you'll see, Vietnam takes these outbreaks quite seriously and puts quite uh, strict measures in place to combat the spread of the virus. So it does affect daily life here to a certain degree. So as usual, Vietnam is doing a good job right now of trying to contain this outbreak. Most of the cases have been up in the northern provinces of Vietnam and some cases in Hanoi and also some cases here in Da Nang and I'll go through the numbers in a minute. But basically as usual what Vietnam does is if there's a case then they do what's called contact tracing and I did a whole video about this about why Vietnam did so well last year and it's largely to do with this is they find everyone that's been in contact with that person and test them may put them into quarantine and also taking very fast actions to put social distancing measures in place. So what are the current restrictions right now in the different cities? And it does vary from city to city. So here in Da Nang, we are in, a lot of people are calling it a lockdown. It's obviously not 100% of the lockdown, but the main thing is that all non-essential businesses have been closed. So cafes, bars, karaoke, massage parlors, all those kinds of things and the beach has been closed off gyms have been closed and you are allowed out to like exercise which is good because last time during the last outbreak in Da Nang we had to actually stay indoors and you know if you're outside they would kind of shout at you to go back inside and that was a pretty tough six weeks and the other good thing is they haven't closed restaurants for delivery so they've actually stopped the grab app if you guys don't know it grabs like a delivery app like uber but restaurants are still open not to go to and sit at but you can get pickup from restaurants and you can get delivery from restaurants. It's only uh, taxi services and delivery companies that can't deliver, I believe, right now. And there's no gatherings of more than five people at the moment. So basically, you gotta kind of stay at home. There's like nothing to do, there's nowhere to go. Um, so it, it feels like a lockdown, even though you're kind of allowed to be out. And the city's very quiet, and most people are staying at home. So I just had a call with our team back in Saigon with Miranda, Chi, and Claire. And they were just telling me that Ho Chi Minh City is a lot better. While they do have suspension of bars and discos and karaoke's as they call them. Other than that, it's mostly the same and a lot of restaurants serve drinks anyway. They're like restaurant bars, so kind of the bars are still open. So there was one case in Ho Chi Minh City this week and I think there might have been a possible second case now. So it might get a little stricter there, but at the moment Ho Chi Minh City has been relatively free of COVID. As for schools, quite a lot of them have closed or at least moved online in a lot of parts of the country again it varies from city to city but yeah a lot have closed so some english teachers are working online right now for their companies but a lot of students throughout the country are staying home right now so that's kind of a summary of what things are like here right now da nang was a lot worse last time i think there were over a thousand cases here in that last outbreak and we were basically in lockdown for six weeks so hopefully this time around they're on top of it and things will get back to normal more quickly than that I think the peak in cases happened at the beginning of this week on Monday or Sunday and hopefully from now on the cases seem to be declining slowly. A lot of them are in quarantine already, the ones that are getting tested positive. So just from keeping an eye on it, it does seem like things are under control for the most part. I don't want to jinx it, but 
I think it's gonna be okay, not, not like a huge crazy spread. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about the crackdown on visas that's happening right now. So a couple of things are happening at the moment that might have influenced this to a certain degree. One is that there were some people arrested recently for bringing people into the country on fake sponsorship. So right now, only experts and highly skilled workers are allowed into the country and it's a bit of a complicated, difficult, an expensive process. I made a full video about all the pros and cons and the details of that if you want to go check it out. But essentially what these people were doing is sponsoring random people who paid a fee to get into Vietnam but then they weren't actually working for the companies that they're supposed to be and they weren't actually experts in that field. So yeah quite a few people have been arrested for that and the other thing is that there are elections happening this weekend so that could be influencing it to a certain degree. They're trying to take some action right now to show that they're getting things done. But what what is the actual crackdown that's happening on visa extensions? Well, the main one is to do with business visas. So with tourist visas, those have been automatically extended for more than a year now, since March last year. And each month you can usually get an automatic extension, either for free, some people have needed to pay a fee. And overall the government's just got a little bit more strict about enforcing everything. So the tourist visas, while yes, they are automatically extending them still, there have been some people now that I've heard about that have been denied an extension and it is at the end of the day at the discretion of the government to keep extending or not. But this isn't where the main problems have been happening. The main problems have been happening with business visas. So if you don't know, to work legally in Vietnam you have to have a work permit with a local company plus a business visa or a temporary resident card, a TRC. So what the government is cracking down on right now is people that are on business visas without a work permit. And before it was pretty easy to just keep extending three month tourist visas. And usually this is something visa agents would do. So now what they're getting strict on is basically saying they might be able to give you a one month extension, but then you definitely have to leave the country after that one month business visa expires. So at Ninja Teacher, we've helped hundreds of people move to Vietnam and get legitimate work, get work permits, get a TRC. But the issue with it and them suddenly cracking down now on it with people being here in Vietnam during a pandemic is that a lot of people have been forced to go onto business visas that are not sponsored by an actual company they're working for, for many different reasons. For example, lots of schools shut down during COVID, so people lost their jobs. And then you basically have to shift onto a different visa. like. These companies can shift you onto an exit visa, which gives you 30 days to leave the country. But a lot of people want to stay and find another job. That doesn't give them much time. So essentially they're getting these business visas and now some people are ending up on the blacklist because of that. Now there's a lot of people that are staying long term on business visas right now that aren't in that situation. And it's a topic of discussion for another day if there should be some options for remote workers who are bringing dollars into the country uh, for retirees. There's no retirement visas in Vietnam when they are in like Thailand and Cambodia and countries like that. Another thing is a lot of schools don't want to sponsor teachers work permits it's uh it's a bit of a problem here sometimes schools are just not very good at it they aren't willing to it costs them money it's paperwork it's hr so sometimes it's hard to find a school that will get your work permit so anyway all i'm saying is there's a lot of people in situations where they might have to leave now and maybe have landed on the blacklist here in vietnam and this is all happening in the middle of a pandemic when there aren't that many options for people right now and i know a lot of people personally that have been affected by this in one way or another okay and then the last thing is the new quarantine rules which is now 21 one days hotel quarantine with seven days of stay at home quarantine so that is not great because again the only way to get into the country was that expert visa process that I made the video about and you have to pay for the 14 day hotel quarantine which is on average about $1,500 for the 14 days the charter flights are more expensive and as I explained in the video, not many schools are willing to sponsor people right now to get into the country. We've been keeping up with our network of schools here in Vietnam that we normally place people in. And very few schools are actually hiring teachers from abroad right now. Yeah, you might hear of a few people here and there that get hired and brought into the country, but 
it's just not a lot of people. It's just a small fraction of people. So that increased to 21 days was after I think someone went through the whole 14 day quarantine and then had tested negative a few times but then still was positive after that. I don't really know how that's possible but the government now has increased the quarantine so it's going to be more expensive. You've got to stay at home afterwards for a week. As usual we're just waiting until things get better, until borders are more flexible, until we open our in-person placements and in-person training courses here in Vietnam. Unfortunately, we can't do that until people can viably get into the country. And I think that point is going to be related to how much vaccination has happened in Vietnam and also vaccination passports and vaccination programs around the world. It's just going to be a matter of that. So right now, Vietnam has vaccinated, I believe, 1 million people out of the 97 million population. So not that many. They're trying to get more doses here and vaccinate more quickly obviously starting with people who are high risk and then going from there so overall a bit of a setback in everything here in vietnam right now but in the grand scheme of things vietnam is doing quite well still unfortunately with the crackdown on visas some people even those that are trying to live and stay here legally might be affected and it might be a tough time for a lot of people now having to leave the country and with no way to get back in you know that's not a great situation for a lot of people but maybe after the elections things will die down a little bit there'll be more viable visa solutions for people to get here stay here longer term and hopefully this will also help schools and other companies in vietnam get a bit better about getting their teachers work permits. If you are interested in learning more about how you can start teaching English in Vietnam and online so you can prepare for when things get better, uh, we have a free training which I'll leave a link to below which gives you all the information on how to get started. So I'll make some more videos with updates in the future and get back to some vlogging. I might do some uh, lockdown live vlogs, see what else I can come up with in terms of topics and yeah stay tuned subscribe if you haven't already and i'll speak to you soon in a new video peace